However, let me tell you four things that you need to take into consideration when you're thinking about going to a private nursing program or not. Code Blue, room 305. Hey guys, what's going on? It's John with NRSNG.com. Today I just wanted to answer a question that we get often from nursing students, and that is, should I attend a private nursing program or not? Uh, And the short answer to that is you should go to any program that will give you a nursing degree. However, let me tell you four things that you need to take into consideration when you're thinking about going to a private nursing program or not, okay? And those four things are price, recognition, accreditation, and NCLEX pass rates, okay? So let me talk about each of those really quickly. So price, what you'll find is that private nursing programs are going to be substantially more expensive than uh, public universities and community colleges and stuff. So one study by U.S. News found that uh, private schools ended up costing about $21,000 more for a bachelor's degree. Now that might not sound like a tremendous amount of money, but you will have to pay that back and that will be accruing interest and everything. So you can finish your RN for much cheaper if you go community college or public university, private schools will leave you with a tremendous amount of debt. I actually went to a private nursing school myself and my total debt after all that was about $40,000, okay? So that's that's quite a bit of money and all that has interest and everything and so it's something that I have to uh, pay back as well, okay? So you have to be a little bit more careful with your finances, which is, you know, a good thing, but you also have to, have to kind of budget that in that, that uh, once school finishes and everything, you're gonna have to pay all that back. So that's price. Another is recognition. Now, no matter what people want to say, reputation counts, okay? The way that people are seen, the way that things are seen in a community plays a huge role in in success and everything. So if you go to a bad private uh, nursing program and then you try to apply for a job in an area, if that program already has a bad name behind it, it's going to be a lot harder for you to find a job, okay? Because that's going to be one of the first things that managers are going to look at as they're sifting through 600 different applications for nursing students uh, or for new nurse jobs. They're going to look at, you know, where you went to school. And if there's a really bad reputation for the program that you went to, they're going to take that into consideration. So if the nursing program has a great reputation and and if uh, it puts out really good nurses or if there's a specific hospital that tends to hire nurses from a private school, then it's probably not a huge issue, okay? So that's price, that's recognition. Next is accreditation. This, you know, probably should have been number one on the list, but there's basically two accrediting bodies for uh, undergraduate nursing programs. That's the ACEN and the CCNE. The ACEN accredits uh, diploma programs, associates, bachelors, and masters, and then the CCNE uh, accredits BSN and MSN programs. So one of the first things you need to do whenever you're looking at a program, uh, if it's a private program, you need to, if, if they don't publicize that they're accredited, that would be uh, you know a red light, but if uh, you don't see it anywhere, call the program, find out when they were accredited, how long ago was the accreditation and and if there were any issues with accreditation or if there's any sort of issues with that. You know, just a couple uh, weeks ago, there was a program in Florida that was shut down and they had lost their accreditation. So all these students were left without uh, being accredited nurses and then trying to transfer programs or whatever they were gonna have to do. So accreditation is incredibly important, whether that's public or private, but a lot of times you're gonna see public universities, you know, and programs that are run by, uh, you know, the state and everything like that, they're gonna have their accreditation in line. Um, So, but you really wanna make sure that your program is accredited, okay? The last thing that I want you to keep in mind is NCLEX pass rates. Now this is public information and everything. So you can go to any state's Board of Nursing website. Uh, I live in Texas, you can go to Texas Board of Nursing and you can look at pass rates by program, okay? Not just overall pass rates, but each individual school, what their pass rates are. Now, obviously you can't make an entire judgment on a program by its pass rates because if you're a hard worker, if you're a great student, you know, you can probably overcome poor pass rates for a program. However, if there's one school across the street having 99% pass rate and another school just in the same town across the street having 40% pass rates, you have to wonder, you know, are they letting in students that aren't prepared? Are they hiring professors that aren't teaching well? Or are they just not preparing their students? 
Okay, so that's really important to keep in mind what the NCLEX pass rate is. So those are the things I would really look for. I would look at accreditation, number one. I would look at NCLEX, NCLEX pass rates, honestly, number two. And you can do that on your state board of nursing website. Then I would look at recognition. Okay, so if all if these three things are, are coming into line and you're seeing that, well, pass rates are comparable with other schools in the area, has a good recognition, um, and it's accredited, then I would look at price, okay? Now, if price is the only thing keeping you from getting your degree and you don't feel like you're going to get into another program, um, I would put some serious thought into, uh, you know, taking on those loans and things like that. It is doable, they're available, um, and if you're dedicated to paying off those loans, it's possible. One thing that I want you to keep in mind too is if you really want to be an RN and you feel like you know, you're know you struggling to get into a program wherever you're at, one thing that you can do is you can go to a website that I really like. It's called bestnursingdegree.com. And at bestnursingdegree.com, they list every nursing program by state, and then they'll list some of the prereqs and things like that, uh, divided up by accelerated BSN, uh, diploma, master's, BSN, ADN. Um, so you can find all these different programs. It's a huge database. And that's actually the website that I use to find the nursing program that I went to. Uh, I actually went to a private program. I even moved out of the state to go to a program. Um, and honestly, it didn't have stellar NCLEX pass rates, but I did incredibly well. I worked my butt off. I was in the library every day. I found other students that were dedicated and focused. And I did well. I, I, I passed the NCLEX, I got a job, and everything worked out. Um, so those are the four things I want you to keep in mind when you consider um, public versus private, okay? So price, recognition, accreditation, and NCLEX pass rates, all right? Now, I want you guys to head over to Med... So I want you guys to head over to nrsngacademy.com. For those who haven't done that yet, uh, I don't know what you're waiting for. It is our free med surge uh, prep course and it has ADHD videos that cover basically every topic you need to know uh, for med surge and it explains it all in a way that is really going to help you kind of grasp the information. So head over to nrsngacademy.com and uh, we'll see you on the inside.